Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be my August favourites and there's quite a variation of things as per usual. I always have a lot of different things. It's not just makeup or clothing or anything like that. So I think we should just get started. Typically in my favourites videos I don't have that many makeup favourites because when it comes to makeup I am a creature of habit and there's some different reasons for that but this I don't know I think I may have talked about this before but it is the Essence Stay All Day 16 Hour Concealer and this is an amazing concealer um, it is yeah it says it's long lasting it is the shade is really good for me I'm uh, 10 natural beige. I'm pretty sure it's the lightest one. I have very fair skin. This is me tan right now You know, this is like my tan color Um, but I use this under my eyes on the top of my nose and I the reason I'm really suggesting oh, this piece of fluff The reason I'm really suggesting this is because I have had pretty severe cystic acne for six years now just over six years, which is <laughs> great Um, so I have had my experiences with concealers but this is an amazing concealer especially because recently due to just all different changes in lifestyle and whatever I have gotten really bad you can pr you can see it right all under my on my neck here and all across my chin especially on this side I have had really really severe acne again and this concealer is amazing it really covers it but it doesn't like highlight it either like some concealers do and um, it doesn't dry out at all it's just really really fab like it doesn't you know how concealers can make things go crusty especially if you have acne it does not do that I love this so so much and I put it on over my foundation but yes 10 out of 10 would recommend this and it is super super cheap so I will have to buy another one though because I use so much of it and um, I would love if there's a little bit more product but I guess typically people don't need to use that much concealer but I do so amazing concealer 10 out of 10 would recommend especially for those who suffer with acne like me but for my two clothing favorites one I don't have to show you because it's in the wash because they are white jeans and I love white jeans I will probably continue wearing them into autumn and like when there's warmer days it kind of makes it look more summery or we'll see about that but um you know, I'm Irish, so we don't have, I don't know what that like rule is, but nobody really follows it. No white after Labor Day. I don't even know when Labor Day is. So yeah, I wear white jeans all the time, but I didn't have them until recently. They were really cute. They were not that expensive. They're quite a stretchy jegging kind of material. So they have to be washed like really often so that they don't get weird and baggy, but they go with so much. And if you follow me on Instagram at anime.yt, you'll see that I've been wearing them quite a bit and I just really, really like them. They kind of make everything look a little bit more dressy and yeah I've just really been enjoying wearing them. The second thing I have is a top from Shein and you've probably seen other people wear it on the internet because it's really cute. It's a little peplum top it's like higher in the front lower in the back and it's just got a regular scoop neck or kind of a more like a crew neck and a little um keyhole detail at the back and kind of slightly puffy sleeves and it is such a pretty color um, especially for fairer people like myself and uh, light blue is always a good thing with, with you know the bit of navy but just about the, I've been wearing this top a ton you know with my white jeans with dark jeans and um, I actually also wear it with black pants and it still looks really cute there's not too much navy in it that you couldn't but one thing I would definitely say is that like she in sizes you really do need to refer to the size chart. I've been pretty good, you know, I've even bought shorts and they fit so well. So you just need to like know your measurements, look at the size chart, look at the, um, I was gonna say ingredients, the materials used in the item and use that to figure out what size you should be. Because this is a medium. I am, let's say in like a gap, I'm an extra small, um, UK kind of size I'd be an 810 in a top really an 8 unless it was really tight across the chest not super big chested but I do need a bit of room there um this top is a medium and it is so tight in the sleeves like I do not have chunky arms but the sleeves are so small and um it is a little bit tight across the chest. It's fine, it doesn't look unflattering, but like I wouldn't want to be doing anything too crazy. So just keep that in mind if you are ordering from Shein, but I do really, really like this top and I'm pretty sure they're still selling it. So it's a good find. So next I have like 
bag and purse kind of items. The first one is this new cap kits and purse that I talked about in my other recent video which is a like a back to school kind of haul and I got this because I've had the most tacky wallet for like six years now literally like five years now and I bought it because it was the cheapest thing on ASOS at the time like literally it was just gold and all the gold had come off so I got this for myself in the Cap Kitson uh, outlet and it's just a typical wallet you know it's got like it has a coin pouch in the middle which I really like and just card slots and everything like that so I've really been liking this and as well as that I have my Barrington tote which I've been using a lot more recently so even though my Barrington has like it definitely more autumnal slash winter colors. I've been using it quite a bit. The weather has not been nice at all today in Ireland. It's August, I'm wearing a jumper and jeans. You know, it's it's not that nice. But um, I have been using this a lot, especially for like going to the gym and I've had to do some like day trips in the car and this just fits so much and I just love it so, so much. I have seen though that my only complaint with this is that it's always just a little bit too big for someone my size. Um, I'm just about five foot three, but I'm not a very big build. So sometimes a big old tote bag looks really, really big on me when I don't have that much to carry. And I just saw that they released a miniature one, like the mini St. Anne tote or something. And it's gorgeous. So I will link this down below, but I will always try and also try and link that down below. And I am going to definitely look into getting one of those for myself in the next year or so. Moving on to my other random favorites, basically. Um, I got my hair done, I bleached it, woohoo. Uh, just got the regular balayage done. Um, it's a bit lighter at the front and then I have it bleached a little bit throughout um, or colored whatever way you like to put it I'm you know don't pretend that this is the absolute natural color that grows out of my head because very very few people I did online research about this one time and very very few people actually have very blonde hair as an adult it just like doesn't really happen but if you are one of those people count yourself as very lucky because I have to pay a bomb to get my hair to look like this so I also have to battle a lot of brassy tones which I think I'm probably gonna make a video on my dad has red hair or he had he's bald now but he had red hair and that's where I get this from so um yeah I have a lot of purple shampoo in my armory and maybe I'll do a little video on that so something else I'm going to have to refer you elsewhere to whichever side the card is on is my planner channel. I have really been um, experimenting more with plan as you go style planning. If you are not familiar with planners or anything like that, I would suggest you just look up the hashtag planner addict or planner love on Instagram and you will find out all about it. Um, but if you want to follow my planner Instagram, it's at animate plans and I do post like once or twice a week on there and I also have a planner channel anime plans which will be linked down below and in the cards and you can see what I've been doing there recently and I'll actually be vlogging a little bit on that channel because I'm going to a convention in Brussels in October which is kind of crazy but it's happening. I do try and avoid being an overly negative person but in these videos I sometimes just feel the need that it's kind of like a recap on the month and I think I should talk about some things that are not my favorite this month. So the number one thing that is not my favorite that's going to come to a shock to a lot of people is the Lily Pulitzer after party sale and you're like what you don't like Lily anymore? No I do that's the problem. So in case you are another international viewer or you are American and didn't know this Lily Pulitzer does not ship internationally and they do not accept PayPal I don't believe maybe if someone knows let me know in the comments um, but it says that they only accept American credit cards and I don't know if that's credit cards or if it's just like card payment or whatever but basically it means that I can't shop the sale and I could pay for a service that I could get my order delivered and then they would deliver it to my home for a charge of minimum 15 euro but because I know that Lily doesn't send out the order all at once if you bought multiple things, it sends it out like one at a time, I would have to pay that 15 euro over and over and over again. So me being fun employed and still in college, decided to just completely avoid the sale this year and I am heartbroken. Especially because I wanted to get a dress for graduation, which is 
scary, but something I thought I would also talk about, which is a good thing. Um, I am going into my final year of college. Um, if you've been around for a little while, I, this is my third year, but it is pretty typical in Ireland with someone doing my degree, which is an arts degree, to graduate in three years. So I will, I'm currently on track to graduate like this time next year and it's a little scary but I have all of my classes picked out I just need to get like confirmation and then it's just really weird and crazy so yeah it's kind of thinking about the future and everything like that it's a little spooky but hopefully it'll all be great <laughs> still on the topic of back to school though in a weird way for the like the first time in my life I'm a little bit excited to go back to school which is really really weird because I know I'm gonna regret saying that as soon as I go back and um, just because I don't really like college that much like I do in some ways but I really don't <laughs> I'm not fooling myself it's been two years I know at this point but I'm excited to go back to dance with all my dance friends and get new people on our team and to just start you know it's the beginning of the end I guess and I'm kind of excited for that and yeah also my brother is starting college this year and my best friend is also starting college this year and she'll be moving to London to go to King's College um, London for medicine so that's pretty exciting so I will be probably hopping over to London a couple times this year Um, so definitely stay tuned for London vlogs and things like that so yeah it's the first time ever it's it's really really strange but I'm a little excited for everyone to start going back to school. So I know this video has been super super long, hopefully I'll be able to cut it down a bit, but the last thing I wanted to talk about as a favourite is, I know I'm so late to the party, but Riverdale. I had not watched Riverdale when it was out because I was so so busy with school. I had a really busy schedule second semester this year and it was just, you know, there was a lot of stuff for me to do. I had essay after essay after essay and it was just so, so crazy. So I didn't watch it. And then I was on a flight, I think it was my flight from Beijing to London. And I had like run out of shows to watch, I couldn't sleep, anything like that. So I was like, I'll watch the Riverdale pilot. And people were like, oh, it's so shit, don't watch it. And I was like, you know, I'll give it a chance. I like cheesy shows and I loved it. So as soon as I got home, I was like, Riverdale, and I just watched a ton of it, and um, I just, t I took a big break because I thought episode 12, or like chapter 12, was the season finale, but it wasn't. So last night I watched uh, 12 and 13, and yeah, I'm very excited for season two, and I have even bought stickers for my planner for it. So again, follow the planner channel and planner Instagram, but yeah. I'm, I'm loving Riverdale, so definitely, if you haven't watched it, give it a chance. Don't be such a hater. It's really, really fun. So that is it for this month's favorites. I hope you enjoyed. If you are new to my channel and you managed to sit the whole way through this, please do subscribe. I would love if you did. I post videos every Tuesday and I'm hoping to keep that schedule up when I am back in college. So I do have some more videos coming your way if you want to request a video or anything like that, definitely follow me on Instagram and contact me there and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed and I will see you in my next video. Bye!